Hi, I'm Tom Held. I write the Off the Couch blog for JS Online. I'm here at the Pettit National Ice Center to uh, take my first go at uh, uh, speed skating. Um, I have the benefit of having Kip Carpenter, uh, uh, Olympic bronze medalist and the coach of the, uh, the U.S. Uh, skating team, to uh, give me some instruction on my first time around. So, uh, of course, staying upright is going to be goal number one. But uh, beyond that, I really want to try to get a sense of what, how the Olympic level athletes generate the power and the speed that, that just mesmerizes us as we're watching them in uh, World Cup competition and, and, of course, the Olympics. So I'm looking forward to it, and you'll be able to check it out at uh, JS Online, and the blog is off the couch. Hi, my name is Kip Carpenter, and I'm head coach of the Swiss speed skating team based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Perhaps the biggest difference between a speed skate and a norm, let's say a normal skate or a figure skate or a hockey skate is that speed skates use or speed skaters use a device called the clap skate. And what's happening here is, well, you have a you have a hinge that's uh, essentially connected right into the ball of the foot, and the heel that disconnects. And this allows the skater to have longer contact on the ice longer pressure and allows the skater to move in a more biomechanically uh, correct position to create the most power into the ice. The longest you can push is this far, right? But if you're, able, if you're able to bend your knees a bit more, you're able to maximize the amount of time that, that you can have pressure to the ice. So if you, the, the, the target knee bend should be 90 degrees here. So if you can bend at 90 degrees and push, then all of a sudden your strengths get quite a bit longer here. So this would be the stroke. Okay, I'll show you from this angle. So 90 degree knee bend, and then you lengthen your stroke out there. So the longer the stroke you have, the more opportunity you have to create more pressure into the ice and make more speed. We also so look for the 90, 90 degree knee bend and the upper body down to create that um, very stealth-like aerodynamic position. Um, so if you have your upper body up like this and your head and your face completely up like that, you have a large frontal space so therefore you create more wind resistance or more air friction for you to to glide through knee bend just like this come down in the position arms either on your back or in front find that 90 degree knee bend so a little bit so make a little bit of speed i'll give you a little push okay stealth like position shoulders down it's good hips down just a little bit more search for that 90 degrees good. everything over that gliding leg Good speed. Search that 90 degrees. That's good timing with the arm swing. Now oh, we're making some pretty good.